This is match number one. On the field represent the United States of America, Paul Isinger. You get to the stage on the first tee rent and that it's far better to miss the fairway with the wood than it is with an iron. As we can see. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> that really is a wide. Uh, these, these boys will be hitting some funny old shots, as we well know. And it's all purely and simply to do with the situation and the history of the, the Ryder Cup. It's a big, big thing. I don't think even they would feel the same in the President's Cup because of the lack of history in that at the moment. Three victories in Ryder Cup games, six defeats, one half for Tiger Woods. Well, the best golfer in the world was fairly similar. Beautiful looking swing from Tiger there. And once again, that two iron punt. Well, not down the middle this time, Sandy Andy. Mm -hmm. On the team representing Europe, Thomas Bjorn. Oh boy. Yeah, I feel tense just sitting here. <laughs> the first one that hits the fairway is going to get one hell of a cheer, you know that? <laughs> <laughs> Three wood for Thomas. The cheers would indicate that it's hit the fairway. And on it goes scampering down the middle. Thomas Bjorn, who missed the game at Brookline, of course, in 1999 because of injury. On the team, my partner, Darren Clark. Hasn't had all that uh, impressive a season this year in America. Not a great deal happened for him. Second shot. Seemed to get onto the back of that one, all right. Oh, excellent. First class shot there by Azinger. Turn just over 150 yards for Clark. Good lie. Oh, magic. Wonderful job shot. Fifty yards, nine iron, and disturbed by a camera. Yeah, right on my swing, I think he said. It's amazing. I think the professional photographers should know so much better. Greens this morning, uh, double cut out there, so... Uh, Wonderful surface for Azinger to perhaps make the first birdie of the day but, in uh, this event. But Warren, still slower than the Americans would uh, expect. Azinger for a three. Good putt. Credit well. Green's just over 10 on the stint meter, I think. And normally in American events, the 11, 11 and a half. Isinger makes his four. Well, he's one of the few men in the world that's actually had a putt for a 59. 
twice he's had 60, so if he can uh, get this particular weapon working well, it's the Achilles heel of his game so far this year, the putter. No chance to move one ahead now. There we go. Ah, lovely start. Well done. A wonderful bunker shot. But I think we'll all agree that at times it's can be easier from that sort of distance to get control out of a bunker than it can out of the rough. on the fairway, just a short par for this one, 379 yards, but just the fairway, they're tall trees both left and right. Here's uh, Darren Clark at the second. Opening birdie on the first hole will have done his team a lot of good. Tiger's second hole, perfect position. Staring down the flag with just a wedge in his hand. Uh -oh. I think we'll probably give him a three. Excellent shot from Tiger Woods at the second there. Just in the semi here for Darren Clark. 132 yards ago. Beautifully clipped in there by Darren. Good show. There's a lovely shot. Makes it far, far easier now for Thomas. This second shot into the green, he can really start attacking the pin. Still, please. 98 tall. Sam Torrance, uh, the European captain, choosing the four balls uh, to be played first today because uh, over the last few years in Ryder Cups, uh, Europe has done much better in four balls than Americans. Europeans. The sand iron there for Thomas. And we'll take that, thank you. Mm -hmm. There's a great deal in this, but Warren. Just a hair, maybe, from right to left. There we go. Lovely stroke. Beautiful stroke. Birdie, wow. birdie start. That's not too bad if the uh, nerves are not. Uh, well, I just hope he stays nervous. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, so slightly downhill. I mean, it's probably a little over a yard, this one. Yep. And there really was never going to be any danger there, was there? Well, you know, the, the situation was only the only danger, really, Red. <laughs> Let's go to the third with uh, Darren Clark and Thomas Bjorn. This is Clark's second shot for par five. Well done. <laughs> what a wonderful second shot that was. It's a scary old shot over the water and Tiger on the downstroke here, not that easy. Holes have been changed since I played here, though, Hutchie. Of course, this was a par four. That's right, straight up the hill. A very good change, I think. Yeah, I agree entirely. Yeah, because yeah, the fourth being a par five wasn't the greatest of holes, really, was it? No, true. And he's mad. He's crossed with that shot. Another yard, it would have been very close to the hole and an eagle opportunity. Well, Zinger is very good at this sort of length. Paul 
back in the stance for Woods third shot at the third. This is uh, Darren Clark for uh, a birdie four. Tiger has already got the birdie four, so this is for a half. And so Darren Clark makes a great start. Birdie, birdie, birdie for Darren Clark. And uh, he and Thomas Bjorn uh, one up. Tiger Woods, second to the fourth. 442 yards and still didn't look much more than an 8 iron or 9 iron, even with the 3 wood. And what little bit of breeze there is out there, almost in their favour, helping. And both perhaps a little wary of going oh, past yeah. the pin and uh, through the green. Three birdies in a row, Brian. You would tend to think that he's settled down, but do you ever settle down in a Ryder Cup? Uh, not really. <laughs> no, I didn't think so. Not really. I should think he's probably beginning to think, well, come on, partner, why don't you do something? <laughs> well, I think people are a little worried about Darren's form coming into this, but he is such an aggressive player, and what a problem yeah, to have at his age. But he'll be disappointed with that shot himself. Oh, yeah. Pushed it a little bit. Perfect distance. Had to hit it. Yeah. Bobbled just a little bit, didn't it? Just after he hit it. But he's made his four, and his partner will have a putt for three. Ising is a pretty useful competitor in these Ryder Cup matches. Uh, very intense. Hates to lose, but then. All these players hate to lose. I think initially Renton uh, has always thought that Azinger, I mean, Woods rather, would play with Cal Kavecchia, but almost a, a last minute change by Curtis Strains. That's one thing about uh, Azinger in his side, a captain's pick. It gave him the flexibility, and that's why a birdie machine. Very, very good putt from uh, Paul Azinger. Three for the Americans, and uh, the pressure goes on to the Europeans. They're both nearer the hole than Azinger was, but both have birdie putts. They've got two chances to halve the hole. Thomas Bjorn for his birdie to halve the hole on four. This for the half, Darren Clark. Well, this time he doesn't get it. And the match all square. So Darren Clark and Thomas Bjorn lose the hole right, to the Woods line. and Azinger. Match is all square. And there you hear it, the match all square. But we all go to the fifth with Paul Azinger. Yeah, tight little par four. The fifth, 408 yards. Anything wrong with that one?
Thomas Bjorn in reply on the fifth with his tee shot, just a three wood. All right. Fifty-six yards, nine iron for Tiger. And it must be nice for Azinger to know that uh, he's got the world's number one playing right behind him. <laughs> it or does help, doesn't him. it? It yeah. does help, doesn't it? <laughs> Good shot there from Tiger Woods. Don't think it's... he's quite gone into second gear yet. No, 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 no. Still a little cold, I think. But it's great to see that Paul has recovered so well from the. The bout of cancer that, of course, he had a few years ago. Clark's second to five as well, and that's a good shot in reply. This is going to be an absolute humdinger of a match. Got plenty of control with that out of the rough. <laughs> Thomas Bjorn at the fifth. Chance for him to uh, open his account. Birdie putt here. Up the slope, left to right. Go, go, go. Oh, yes, sir. Needed yeah. that. That a boy. Well done. A really good birdie to make, considering that he was off the fairway, out of position with his tee shot. Woods to half the hole on five. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. Walking after that one to pick it out the hole long before it disappeared. On, 395 yards, the uh, sixth hole pin today. 18 on, four from the right hand side. Clark playing first. Right over the top of the flag, but a good half club out. Quite a long little chip and run coming back for uh, the Irishman. Tiger Woods second to the sixth. Oh, just a tad below his feet. That'll promote a little bit of left to right uh, cut. So in this 10 feet or so left of the flag, just move it drent into the stick and not all bad just a little bit more pretty good you can see the grass there Thomas's shoes almost buried in the, the grass Oh. Oh, another yard, it would have been very good. Not bad, not bad. And he's a little bit of a gambler, uh, Paul, and uh, that's why he was selected ahead of Kalkaveka in this match by Curtis Strange. Well, I think yeah. Tiger probably told him to give it a shot because he knew full well that his iron, two or three iron off the tee, would still live and he gave him a sort of an eight iron into the green. Good shot there from Thomas Bjorn, should guarantee the par.
Just to put the Americans up in two games at uh, this stage on the first morning. Yeah. Both Americans uh, are sure the fours. Yard. It's remarkable that he took that club 163 yards. You tend to think of targeting nine irons with that. So uh, just into a little bit of breeze, taking a lot off it. But it's obviously how he saw the shot, just pushing it forward, taking all the power out of it. Seven iron for Tommy. Uh, from right to left, and another very timid putt there Boy. by uh, Tiger. Not all that quick down there, but it obviously looked pretty shiny to him. Well, he would have learned a, a little bit from the putt of Tiger Woods going down the slope. Normally an aggressive putter. Very surprised if he leaves this one short, but he has done. Well, maybe just dribbling it past. Square then through Both seven. In three, match remains all square. It's just a straightforward knock up short of the water here for raising it. And of course, the trees have grown very much around the green. Just a seven iron down this 10th fairway for Tiger Woods. And that's ideally placed. Darren Clark for his birdie three from just off the green, leaving the pin in. You feel should turn from the left and that ran straight as you please. Right, when you were out there playing, did you ever find that uh, seeing the captain was an advantage or would you rather have him go away? Um, I often told my <laughs> the rest of my team to go and take a run and jump now. So <laughs> I felt uh, they put more pressure on me by coming out and watching than uh, by going and having a cup of tea. <laughs> Sevi, I think, was warned off a couple of times at Valderrama as they top us beyond putts for three and gets Ooh, it. Oh, great putt. Wonderful putt. The speed of that going to the hole, absolutely perfect. Took a little bit of the breakout. That's the way that... Uh, he likes to putt, always aggressive, and that's made the hole just a little bit smaller for uh, the world's number one. The concentration that is uh, so admirable. Manages to do it round after round. Green sloping just a little bit from left to right as he putts. Mm, how often does that happen? Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Tigger, that is not 
your normal putting stroke. Yeah, one of those occasions where you're worrying so hard about the line that you forget mm, to hit yeah. it. Good shot from Tiger Woods. Safe shot from Tiger Woods. Perfect distance as per usual. At 11, Darren Clark second, all square. Him and Bjorn against Woods and Azinger. Slightly down the shaft. Punch into what breeze there is. <laughs> Darren Clark on the 11th green. Thomas Bjorn has already missed a birdie, but Darren Clark, oh, oh he had the line the too. Jaws of the hole. Mr. Pot on 10, he's Mr. Pot on 11 now. And so that re remains all square. Clark and Bjorn all square with Woods and Azinger as they go to the, the 12th. Completely redesigned hole, isn't it? Four iron for Thomas Bjorn on this hole. Where over the years they've uh, extended the green a little, put some water in at the front and around to the right edge to toughen up the hole. Really good par three now. Yes, they've changed the shape of the green completely, Warren, haven't they? And that little lake there has made it. It could always, always surprise me that they just had that silly little ditch a few years ago and that yes. was it. Yeah, I don't mind calling it a silly little ditch. I remember <laughs> cups would be popping it in there into the breeze at one senior's event we played here many years ago. Said that with a lot of feeling, Dennis. <laughs> and I hadn't used my driver, but I should have. And four irons here for the players. It was a great par three, 208 yards. Wonderful drive through the ball. No, he's not too keen on that. Long again. Most of them are long. There's a little waterfall down the side of that green as well. Butting for a two. See if he can pop this one in. He missed a putt at 10, missed one at 11. Go on. Now the boys are finding the, the speed of the greens very, very slow at the moment, are they? Not finding the distances. There's the little waterfall. Ah, lovely. Coming round rather nicely, this one. Oh! Straight into the cup. <laughs> well, that'll give a lot of people a lot of pleasure. Well, he did learn a lot from the Americans' putt. And uh, Clark and Bjorn go one up for the second time against Woods and Azinger. Darren Clark finding one of the bunkers on the left of the fairway on 13. Oh, great shot out of there. Hello, who's that close to the flag? Well, it's Thomas is looking at his ball, so it must be the Zingers. Woods to play his second to 13, just a wedge. I think that's both the Americans by the side of the flag. Alan Clark. Remember, both the Americans are pretty close. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Yes, sir. But, uh... Clark and Bjorn are proving a very good partnership. 
Clark has already made a three here at the, the 13th, so uh, Paul Azinger is putting to halve the hole. And gets it. Doesn't miss too many, does he, Paul Azinger? But Clark and Bjorn remain one up after 13, thanks to Clark's putt from just off the putting surface. Ninety-eight yards. And this was the hole that, in a previous Ryder Cup, Nick Faldo made an ace at. Uh, Clark at uh, fourteen. Flop shot, flop well, shot, wasn't he? Yeah. Don't well, often see that, do you? No, but it was. I mean, it's downhill. It was a very tough shot. He was within inches of, of pulling off a very good shot. This is Darren Clark at 14 for a two. He and Bjorn have been taking turns to pop in the putts against the Americans. So it's really well. Clark's turn on the last one. So uh, let's see if we can do it again here. Very nearly. I'll try. Well, it's a safe part. That gives uh, Thomas a free putt. Well, they call it ham and egging, don't they? I wonder who's the ham. I don't think there's too many hams out there. There's and there's all. the American captain, Curtis Strange. <laughs> this one up a bit of a slope. He's got to give this one a fairly firm wrap. But of all the Americans, he seems to have got the measure of these greens best. Oh, that wasn't far away, was it? Just perhaps a touch hard. It might have just broken into the hole. So this to go two up. Back home we don't say ham and egg, we say Arthur and Martha. <laughs> Oops. Good bold effort. Yeah. Paul halved. Darren Clark at the par five. 15, 545 yards. Good in the middle from their right. And safely on the fairway. Important to hit the fairway because Thomas Bjorn is in the trees. Uh, he's already driven and has uh, not driven all that well. So uh, good to see Clark on the cut surface there. Well, aim it at the right hand bunkers and draw it into the center of the fairway. Nicely through it. Yeah. Brian, your opinion, you know, it's amazing how many strong grips again, left hand grips I'm talking, a lot of knuckles. We had one stage in, in golf 20, 30 years ago, it was an absolute anathema if you gripped a club like that, wasn't it? Oh, that's right, no doubt about that. And of course, he takes it up very shut. ever seen anybody go through the ball as fast or so fluidly as Tiger Woods He's managed to get a little bit of uh, run in the rough but that's not where he wants to be so not a good position for the world's number one oh that looks pretty good oh it looks very very good such a narrow entrance in there, that was wonderful play. Three wood for Darren Clark. Darren. Oh, he let it go right. She's got a little quick on it. Much fun from there, trying to make a ball. <laughs> Tiger Woods, third shot into the par five, 15. Oh, 
you're not quite getting to the plateau the hole is cut on. very much as if he's going to make his uh, birdie four. No need for Tiger Woods to worry too much. He's got a pretty good partner with him today. Didn't swing all that much at the end of the day. And it was going to swing on the bank, but it's coming so fast it didn't have time to turn. I fancy this one might go in, you know. Yeah, good up and down from where he was. Oh. Well, I was wrong. equal to it he's equal to it is Thomas great but <laughs> these two are having kittens oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's just wonderful to see him so the Europeans have made four and uh, Isinger has a putt to uh, halve the hole and stay only one down and I can't think for a moment that Paul Isinger who's been putting pretty well this morning is going to miss this one. Well, it's probably about a yard, I would think. It looks a little closer than that on your screen, but at this stage you don't give anything. Banged in. The Americans remain one down with uh, three holes to play. Hates it. He's on the wrong level. Touch of the surgeon there, I think. Uh, <laughs> just brought it down at the right spot on the green for it to very quietly roll down the slope and onto the level on which the pin is cut today. Now, important if Darren Clark on 16 can get this second shot close. If he can and make a birdie and perhaps make the Europeans go two up, they would be dormy. Be an important position to be in their match, so... Good shot to knock it close, gives him the chance of the three. And that's going to help uh, Thomas Bjorn. And second shot for Bjorn, semi-rough. Just to Sandine, playing for a little extra release, going on down towards the hole. And this could be a marvellous stroke for the Europeans. <laughs> Guaranteed three. And unless Tiger or Asia can hole a putt, they will be two up and two to play. Huge crowds watching the action, lining the fairway six, seven, eight deep as Esinger puts for three. Delicately, now down the slope, it'll gather speed here. 
And on right past the hole. That's about as well as he could do from where he was on the green. He knew it after he hit the second shot that he was in the wrong position. This for three. And he needs to hold it. And he hasn't. I thought you were going to talk that one into the hole, Brenton. Made a great effort. From the time, but a chance now for the Europeans to pop one in and get to Dorm. Cassie Strange and Stuart Sink there watching the action and uh, looking reasonably worried at this particular point early in the competition. So much more golf to be played over the next uh, two and a half days, though. Well, Thomas Bjorn to win the hole after an excellent second shot, using the contours of the, the green so well. Yeah. Clark and Bjorn go two up at the 16th against Woods and Daisinger. They need only a half at either the 17th or 18th to win the first point for Europe. Likes to uh, draw the ball normally, so an awkward tee shot for him, just a three wood. trying to uh, cut one around the corner of the dog leg and bitten off a little bit more than he can chew and I'm not going to have a stance there. That is in a wicked light. Good contact, didn't he? Well done. Well, Darren Clark started off birdie, birdie, birdie. Thomas Bjorn has just gone birdie, birdie the last two. I wonder whether he can close it out. Tiger, Tiger Woods having to do what uh, Darren Clark did on 17, just lay it up short of the ditch so. His power is of no advantage to him here on 17. Azinger. One oh. thing the Americans do is they will never give up, and certainly the strength of miners, Azinger. Always going to be tough cookie to beat. Beautiful shot. It's like an eight iron. Wonderful sound he makes. Leave it. The crispness Leave it. of the strike. <laughs> Great shot, Tiger. Well yeah. done. Well, Thomas Bjorn knows what he has to do now. You feel there's a certain fall between one of those two. Never an easy one. The green is so large, doesn't give the players much to aim at. And in the circumstances, good shot. Well, I wonder if Darren Clark can give us a, a grandstand finish to this particular game in the 34th Ryder Cup by holding this across the green at 17 for four and the half that they need to win by two and one. Good putt from where he was. Good try. Good try. Now, 
Thomas. You've got nothing to lose, mate. That's the five. Hasn't been given yet, but uh, class it as that. Just had two birdies in a row, so why not make it three? And as uh, Warren was saying, what a neat way it would be to finish, uh, you know, Clark starting with the three birdies and Thomas finishing with three. A yeah. Good statistic, that one, Warren. Yeah, but a tough putt. Uh, he's bound to be feeling very edgy. A little bit down the slope, this one. But not a great deal of break in it. This for the first point in the 34th Ryder Cup. Oh. That went right over whoa, whoa, whoa. the hole and didn't drop. And all they can do now is wait. Don't think this one is going to be left short. This to win the hole. This to go to the 18th tee. One down. You always knew who was going to make it. If anyone was going to make it, that's the man, the world's number one. Well, I bet the zinger is breathing a sigh of relief. <laughs> 473 yards, water to carry, down a little bit of breeze, and you certainly won't want to go through the fairway. There's a bunker beyond. Oh, and that's exactly what you would want to do in that situation. Not quite on the fairway in the semi-rough, but that's absolutely perfect as far as the Americans are concerned. What? Breezes helping a little, and from the players right, all the way left, and sailing over. Beautiful. Two excellent shots from the Americans. One down, needing to win this hole to get a half point. Pressure on the Europeans. Thomas Bjorn and Darren Clark. Yeah. Well, he didn't hold back, did he? Stay in the semi. That's all right. It's okay. Yeah, it looks like it's gone down and it's all dividend or something. I think it's all right. I think that'll be okay. He's strong enough. Another yard, and the rough there is very thick, and you wouldn't be able to get over the water in two. Not sure from that reaction. He's worried about that bunker, but he's got past it, but he's finished in the rough. Dead. Ooh, that is thick there, isn't it? That is so thick there. They seem to get that ball flying all right. It shows you how strong it was. <laughs> question, that is fantastic. And we thought that ball was dead. Well, that uh, might be one of the shots of the tournament. Uh, what a terrific play. Probably had half a lie, but to get the club at it. That was sensational. Well, he saw the ball. This was the thing. Once he put the club down, you could actually see the ball. So I think he was able to get to the back. Well, he was definitely able to get to the back of it. Oh, fantastic. Will the Americans manage to get a half by winning the last two holes? He's done. Oh, <laughs> well done, Thomas Bjorn. Paul Azinger had popped the second shot up there so close, but at the end of the day, it wasn't good enough. That's <laughs> Oh, dear, dear. What? Thomas Bjorn and Darren Clark managed to hang on to win by one hole. What a way to finish for Thomas Bjorn, though. I've never seen him leap quite that high 
in my life. Last time he won a four balls match was with Ian Woosnam at Valderrama when he beat Justin Leonard and Brad Faxon, but that will be a sweet victory for him, and what a way to do it to make a three on the 18th hole at the Belfry. That is just stunning. To watch another Ryder Cup video, click here and subscribe here.